Hello, my name is Vila Beckham. You are my from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And uh, 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 Jody Whittaker, Jody Whittaker is rumored, rumored. It's just yeah, rumor and speculation to be leaving Doctor Who. But you know, normally when they, when a rumor like this floats and they don't shoot it down. Uh, the rumor's true, right? Right, the rumor's true. So, you know, immediately it went from... Actually, a couple of things happened. Firstly, uh, uh, now she's leaving, the, uh, the mainstream media was allowed to admit that this current era of Doctor Who has been terrible and have been received terribly. And so they had to attack somebody for a blame. And it had been Chris Chibnall. And actually, quite rightly, uh, yeah, I would think. But the, the second thing that happened is we started to look at who would be the next Doctor. And we got a lot of... Very stupid articles. Very stupid articles on who could be the next uh, next doctor. These are puff pieces. I I think I haven't read them yet. I, I read this stuff live with you, right? And then you so you get my reaction. You know, uh, 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 raw and unfiltered. Yeah, there you go. You get the uh, uh, one or two warm splatterings of speed right over you, <laughs> fresh fresh from the barrel. Um, so anyway, before we get into it, we're gonna can you hit the like button? That'd be great. Can you hit the share button? That's also great. But can you mostly mostly hit that subscribe button that'll be fan dabby double dozy fan dabby double dozy now as a little uh, bonus for subscribers you get to enter my weekly competitions this week it's the uh mission impossible one two and three dvd set mission model one and i thought that was when i bought this i thought that was basically it for the franchise i didn't think they were doing any more um three good moves i tell you i even the first one which is the weakest Really solid, entertaining movie. Uh, uh, one thing you should know that this it's the 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 packaging is all in Hebrew because I bought this here in Israel. Uh, so you know you might like that, you might like that more, might dislike that. I really don't know. Uh, uh, but the movies are all in English. I guess you can turn on the Hebrew subtitles, yeah, if you want. Uh, what they call it in Hebrew? Tut uh, Korah. I guess that's Mission Impossible. Uh, oh no, was well, uh, Mishima Bali uh, Shah. Okay, there you go. Mission Impossible. Bam. Um, so all you need to do to win it, all you need to win it, subscribe to the channel. You got that? Subscribe to the channel. And in the comments, leave the hashtag, six seconds to self-destruct. Six seconds to self-destruct. I don't know if it was five. I'm just saying six seconds to self-destruct because who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe that's me. <laughs> uh, go check the video notes. Everything is there you need to know to win the uh, 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 to win this fantabulous prize. Uh, while you're in the video notes, go click over here. Go check out my Indiegogo. I've got these two uh, graphic novels coming out. In a week or so, I just got to get the logistics of the shipping worked out. That's what, where I'm at now. But I'm building up a mailing list. And, you know, uh, uh, the more people on the mailing list, the better you do. So if you can add your email address, it'll be fantastic. You get these four uh, uh, art cards here. Uh, you get any one free with any purchase. Unless you get the package where you get four for free, then in that case, you're going to get the fifth chaser one for free. Because, you know, I am pathetically and insanely grateful uh, for you for you buying my wares. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, let's look at who the next Doctor could possibly be, according to the Daily Mail. And firstly, listen, Daily Mail, mate, Daily Mail. Uh, I've had to click off about 15,000 ads just to be able to see a little bit of the story. Uh, uh, you look desperate, okay? You look desperate. Take a chill pill. Uh, listen, I understand. Print media is not doing well, but guys, guys, have a little bit of self-respect. Uh, what, what are they saying? This is... Uh uh, so it looks like some electronic thing. So we start, we open up. See, I try and scroll up and the ad, the ad I, I, I get it. There's an ad there. You want me to sell me crap? I'm not buying it anyway, even though you've got lots of little gold coins on it, which must mean money must rain from heaven uh, if you buy whatever, whatever, whatever the crap they want you to buy. Anyway, so the headline is, I want to be an American Doctor Who. Whoopi Goldberg rev uh, reveals she hopes to be cast as the next Time Lord uh, and spoke about it, uh, spoke uh, to show icon Tom Baker about about the job. Now, listen, I think the female uh, Doctor Who thing hasn't really gone down so well. You know, I, I I really thought it could work. You know, I was, I was so on board for it. Uh, but I think combination of Chris Chibnall's just absolutely disastrous scripts, turgid, boring scripts that just preached and <laughs> were dull and weren't fun, right? Uh, plus many of his... Uh, I would say bigoted creative decisions. You know, you got to when you cast people on skin color and things like that. It's not good. That's not good to do that. Um, uh, you know, uh, 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 it went a long way to alienating most of the British public, but also uh, Judy Whittaker's awful performance in which she just didn't know what she's doing, and she just doesn't know what she's doing. The best episode they've done is the recent festive special, Re Revolution of the Daleks, uh, which. Mm, Looks and feels most like uh, Doctor Who, modern Doctor Who, anyway. Uh, except when Jodie Whittaker's on screen, and she she's just dire. Um, so you know, I think the the, the female timeline thing. 
I mean, I could see them carrying on with it, but uh, it, uh, unfortunately, it hasn't worked and it hasn't uh, got any traction. But I am thinking, what would a, a, a world-class actress like Whoopi Goldberg be like in the role with like a, like with, yeah a great creative force behind but yeah you know, uh, behind who I don't know but uh, uh, that's that that's a very interesting question I do think if they want to do a female time well they should have a female showrunner and uh, 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 was it Rebecca Levine I believe is the uh, uh, was it is it her name she was a script editor or a producer on Emmerdale uh, but she also was the the editor for the Virgin New Adventures range and uh, they, that was a fantastic fantastic era of Doctor Who mostly forgotten but absolutely fantastic so you know I, I would be I, yeah, I'll be really intrigued to see how it goes down because honestly though I, I think Doctor Who if you're leaning into it right if you're leaning into what makes it work uh, uh, yeah, a white guy. Normally they do. I, I think a black guy will probably work as well. But a guy, right? I think if you're leaning in like a guy, a good-looking guy, because good-looking guys tend to appeal to like uh, 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 boys, uh, 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 gay boys and straight boys, and they tend to appeal to girls. This era of Doctor Who appeals to nobody apart from the uh, 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 the, the, the the smug woke brigade that live on Twitter uh, who love it. And they don't love it. They just love Doctor Who being a woman because they think it's it's punching the patriarchy in the eye. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Um, Jodie Whittaker reportedly quit her role as the 13th Time Lord, uh, telling bosses of the sci-fi drama she would not return after the upcoming series. Met with jubilation throughout the land. And Bobby Goldberg has now, I think she said something like this before, has now revealed how uh, she has set her sights on stepping into the, tar the TARDIS as the next Doctor. Listen, uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed about Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, 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 she's she's black. She's black, uh, uh, and she's and she's a girl. Uh, uh, th these are all things that make uh, Chris Chimmel, the uh, producer of Doctor Who's vagina, very very wet. Right? He likes that. He get he's like, oh, I'm so stunning and brave. Everybody's gonna say so. And she's a world class actress, right? I think she would unquestionably do a much better job in the role than Whitaker. Uh, you know, I've seen a range from from uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, so you know. If she wants to do it, Chib, yeah, you know, Chib knows. I, 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 I think you should get get the blower to her agent and say yes, yes. I mean, if you're staying on, but I that and it will bring viewers. I think it's probably a good idea. It wouldn't make good Doctor Who. <laughs> okay, I, I want to be clear. I doubt it will make good Doctor Who unless you've got better writers, and that's really the bottom line. In fact, that latest special, Revolution Daleks, I got the feeling that he went out for lunch with uh, Russell T Davis or, or uh, Stephen Moffat. And talked out the ideas, and uh, they just did a polish, you know, did a polish on it. Because again, the most polished and together episode they've done. Still not good. Still not good. Because you still got Jodie Whittaker in it. Again, a wrecking ball of suck. But take that out, replace that with jo uh, with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, not all. Uh, listen, uh, again, I I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't really think of it as Doctor Who if they still write. Yes, the other thing, they write the Doctor like a moron. Like in the, that special, she she was trapped in prison for decades, like de or maybe hundreds of years. She couldn't do it. She was completely completely impotent and then stupid. You know, and came up with a terrible. Like, it was it was a really you know demeaning <laughs> thing to do to the character of the Doctor. Uh, uh, but again, again, I'll be interesting. Uh, and we've got we another reveal. Uh, the sister act, uh, sister act star, sixty-five, said she wanted to be the first female uh, Doctor before uh, uh, Jodie, thirty-eight. Who cares about her age? Uh, claimed uh, claimed the role in twenty seventeen, and now hopes to be the first American Time Lord. Listen, if first American Time Lord. If he, if he, I don't know if he's American. I think American Canadian. Uh, my 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 vote would be Peter Dinklage, right? Peter Dinklage. Uh, Nerdorotic had that idea, and yeah, you know, I think that'll be a crazy interesting he's got that swagger right which i, I think that uh, uh jody whittaker could also have as well i think uh philip hickcliffe the producer of doctor who uh in the 70s when it was really at its height with tom baker the tom baker yeah the uh hinchcliffe uh, uh robert holmes era uh there was an interview on the the season 14 blu-ray fantastic blu-ray set that's from like 74 um uh, the not the season yeah season one uh, where he said that, yeah the doctor is quite yeah uh, it, the DNA of the character is basically he's a uh, quintessential uh, uh, outsider English gentleman he's an English gentleman who has rejected you know his uh, his privilege so his, his privilege background and gone to see him, which actually kind of makes him similar to James Bond who is also like a, a very privileged individual has rejected that uh, to become a cold international assassin but yeah, he's basically the quintessential English gentleman and if you look at all the doctors you know, that is there is that through line for a, apart from uh, Christopher Eccleston who uh, very actively reacted against that right uh, which which I found
found very interesting. Um, but it, it all revolves around that, and I think that's really where Whitaker's one of the reasons uh, Whitaker has failed because uh, she had, she didn't do any research as you know, in, uh, uh, in the characters at all. She just kind of had a vague knowledge that David Tennant was popular and did a bad impersonation of him because she thought that's Doctor Who. Uh, I think. I think. Uh, yeah, so she's talked to... Uh, uh, she admitted she even spoke to her about her big plans with Doctor Who alum Tom Baker. Who I, would, uh, I would pay so much money to hear that conversation. That would be a fly on the wall there. Like, oh, right? like Tom Baker is an interesting guy to listen to. Uh, who was a fan favourite of the Fourth Doctor in 74 to... Uh, so it must be 77 then, the, the, that, that the season was it, 281. Uh, I said to him, I love the idea of an American dream. I'm still trying to do it. You know, listen, something I do think will be an interesting idea is a different version of Doctor Who, an American version of Doctor Who. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes it its own entity, right? Uh, I said to him, I love the idea of an American dream. I'm still trying to do it. Uh, Whoopi admitted that, that, uh, that although she thinks... The younger Doctors, including uh, portrayals by David Tennant and Matt Smith, and her, fa uh, her favourite older Time Lord, uh, uh, older Time Lord, a favourite of the older Time Lords, was Tom. I that makes sense. Uh, Representatives of the BBC declined, uh, declined to comment uh, when approached by Mail Online. Listen, listen, they declined to comment about Jodie Whittaker because they didn't want to say it. They declined to comment here because there's nothing to say. And if they, if they hire, if they cast her. It's a massive coup. It's a massive coup. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, listen, uh, uh, again, I don't think it'll be good. I don't think it'll be good, but I think it'll be good for the ratings. Um, the ghost star is no stranger appearing in, in uh, a sci-fi cult favourite as she previously played Guinan in Star Trek Generation, which that's kind of how she's going to play it, like smug and know it all. Uh, yeah, and I'm getting less interested by by the second. Uh, it is uh, uh, is the third time that the Oscar winner has revealed ambitions to be a popular Doctor Who franchise. Well, you know, gee, again, I, if they don't snap them up, snap her up, I, I think they're crazy. In 2019, Whoopi revealed that she was turned down by BBC Wilkins when she offered to take on the role of the first female Doctor. Well, wait, 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 wait! You turned down, okay? International superstar Whoopi Goldberg, you know, Oscar win, not the Oscars would mean anything, but she won Oscars back when it meant something, right? And went for Jodie Whittaker, who's basically a soap star. She can play, you know, a 38 year old woman and not much else. You know, that's basically who she is. Because, uh, uh, you know, I, you, you need to be able to imagine something to be real for it to, to, to work. Uh,. They turned it down. Are they in their mind? You know, and Jonah Hill wanted to write as well. He did uh, Lock and Key. I didn't see. I saw the, the the series on Netflix. I saw like the first two or three episodes. Never finished it, which I think is an indication. <laughs> that, that, but he's, I hear he's a pretty solid writer. Jonah Hill, Who, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. That would be interesting. And again, do an American version. Why don't you do an American version? Uh, that would be interesting. Speaking on David Tennant's podcast, the Hollywood star admitted she was uh, uh, she 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 asked to play the role before Jodie Whittaker landed job, and the producers, the producers sadly declined. Uh, when we told David, I want to be the first female Doctor before adding uh, 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 that she thought the series could use an American version of Doctor Who uh, uh, that ends up in New York, and it's me. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I again, intra I. I I think it's an interesting idea. Uh, she continued, "We uh, we don't have to have a Doctor Who. We have uh, we don't we don't have a we don't have a Doctor. We don't have a character who is traveling through uh, through dimension and time and being uh, uh, being an observer. Sometimes they hindrance, sometimes they help. But he doesn't have a gun. You know that's something that you don't see in uh, uh, you know uh, uh, U.S. sci-fi at all or U.S. entertainment. The the the, you know, the 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 action hero not being not going pew pew pew." Um, I'm saying with the gun, not with their mouth. <laughs> yeah, I that, that would that would not go down well. Yeah, here's the dog. It's going pew pew pew. Pah! We're all dead. Uh, that would not go down. The idea, uh, 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 something. The idea just makes me happy. I can't believe she doesn't have the star power to get this greenlit. This is incredible to me. Uh, Whoopi went on to admit that her offer was declined by BBC by saying by saying, uh, but. Uh, they were like, um, no. And I was like, okay, cool, I understand. And they went for Whitaker over, over Whoopi Goldberg? That's just insane. And again, could you imagine Whoopi Goldberg with these scripts? Probably better. You know, listen, the there's one character in the current era who just left 
who who kind of appear, appeared to be like a, a human being. And that that was Graham. And I don't think he was written any better. I just think he was played better than, you know, than the rest. Uh, going on to explain a love for science fiction, Whoopi added, I always felt like science fiction movies predicted the future. <laughs> oh, really? Check out my other video today where I predict the future. They told you what was coming and how to prepare for it. Really? Go check my other video today where I predict the future. Uh, uh, whether it was climate change, uh, 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 hand, com hand computers, or being able to move around in different dimensions. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Civil War. That's what I'm predicting, but carry on. Uh, Whoopi has uh, uh, also shared a desire to land the role in 2017, uh, telling Radio Times. I always hope when I come to England, BBC will say, hey, we want you to do something on Doctor Who. You know, she could have played the Dr. Ruth Doctor. That would have been freaking incredible. Although I kind of liked uh, Joe Martin's take on it as well. Do, although, do I like it or do I have it just compared to Jodie Whittaker, which was abysmal, right? Abysmal. Jodie Whittaker is your is your acting wingman to make yourself seem brilliant. Uh, you, have, you, know, you have quite quite a different qu uh, quality on, on television. You have guys... Uh, uh, the way you guys have always done shows have been the smartest, and we've uh, we finally just figured it out. Just as they forgot, you know, the BBC, uh, I like scripted dramas doing very bad, and the BBC uh, uh, is roundly reviled by, by by half the country, you know? So, you know, they, they, yeah, they just figured out, as you guys, uh, 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 as the BBC, uh, 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 forgot what they're doing. Uh, the idea of doing things in a, in a way you all do them, uh, you do some really fun stuff, like Black Mirror, you know, I'm dying to do Doctor Who! This is this is insane. This is crazy. Uh, what was latest comments uh, uh, come as fa uh, fans lauded jo uh, Jody for showing women can be heroes. So see, this is that is just dis disgraceful. Women always were heroes too, you know. Women's war and, and Jody Whittaker's Doctor Who hasn't been heroic. If anything, it showed the opposite. Uh, uh, I mean, claims the actress is uh, uh, is, is quitting the show. The actress is said to be, uh, told BB, uh, BBC bosses, uh, uh, the boss of the BBC Adventure Show, I think more lecturing show, uh, that she won't return after the upcoming season, so they need to start thinking about recasting the royal title. Unless they cast it. Listen, Doctor Who is doing the best of all the BBC shows. BBC have lost half its audience. They have lost half their audience. Uh, Doctor Who has only lost... Uh, uh, over a third of his audience, you know, uh, but it's declined. The reason there's that is because it's been off air for so long, and uh, I think I think when it comes back and you see Jodie Whittaker week after week as the central focus of the show, you'll see those ra ratings like go, yeah, you know, you know, pretty darn quickly. Um, okay, the news of Jodie's departure left fans uh, left fans emotional with viewers pr praising. The inspiring staff are making them fall in love with the show. Bloody you out your mind during the 10th or 13th hour. It, it, it is hemorrhage viewers. Fandom is in like a wasteland. It's tatters. Nobody fell. Yeah, no, everybody. Really, I mean, okay. Do we remember uh, 2018 when she was about to start? We saw merchandise everywhere. Jody at costumes, Jody action figures, Jody lunchboxes, Jody this, Jody. What do you see now? Nothing. Like, literally, like, a figure, maybe? Yeah, a, a, a figurine? <laughs> but, you, I mean, you don't see any uh, uh, much less at all. Uh, one fan wrote, Jodie Whittaker was always there for fans. No, she wasn't. She Like, she didn't interact with the fans. She interacted with the fans live, unvetted fans, before she, her first episode aired. Then it aired, and, and, and it went downhill very, very quickly. And people went, this is awful. Ever since then, she has never interacted with fans. Okay? That's just reality. They they, they sometimes get, get a five-year-old and dressed in Jodie Whittaker, and they push him out with a broom. And go, hey, I'm so bloody popular, me. Let me give you a hug. And the kid's like, ah, ah. Yeah, that, that uh, 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 okay, fine. Well, uh, inspiring a, a generation that women can be heroes too. Who's ever telling women they can't be heroes too is ignorant. I mean, like, really, one or two World War Two dramas. I mean, they, you had one or two women heroes. Yeah, you know, yes, make women heroes. So why? Uh, yeah, I believe women can be heroes. Obviously, uh, these people don't. That's why they keep give, give, giving women female characters hand me downs. Have you seen the new Batwoman? Who they get they hand me down? Who started off as a hand me down from Batman, right? You know what this suit needs when she's the first trailer needs to be made for a woman you know and then they handed it down again and gave it to a black black woman and it's just demeaning create new shows create new franchise and uh, yeah if they created a sister show a female-led sister show for doctor who which they had so much opportunity to both of them will be doing much much better now i think they really would 
I mean, listen, all the companions are basically heroes as well. Like, what's wrong with this person? And again, Jodie Whittaker is not heroic. The way she plays the character is not. She's uh, 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 an imbecile who condescends to you. So, yeah, that's not very good. Uh, they have someone to look up to. No, she's a remarkable person. Well, there we agree. She's remarkable. I think we're looking at these in different ways. Speaking of, of uh, 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 Jodie's uh, reported departure from the show, uh, Souls told the Daily Mirror, it's all very hush-hush, but uh, it is known on set that Jodie is leaving. And they, well, look, her, the rumor was her, her agent was saying, get out of the show now! It's destroying your career! Uh, uh, so maybe she went, ooh, hey, Chuck, maybe I should. It's who he is. Uh, uh, we're gearing up for a regeneration. Uh, her departure is top secret, uh, but at some point in the coming months, the uh, arrival of the 14th Doctor need, will need to be filled. It's very exciting. They don't need to. I Listen, I don't know if they're going to renew it for a 14th season. I really don't. I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. A BC spoke and told Digital Spy, we're not commenting on speculation around Joda's future which basically was a comment. Uh, and Michaela Cole... Uh, oh, th this must be Michaela Cole, right? Uh, okay. It's, okay. The, she does not look like it'll be... A, I, I don't know. I haven't seen her anything. I'm just saying that she doesn't look very Doctor who in that picture to me. Uh, we won't be able to uh, have a Moses as, as favourites to replace Jodie uh, 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 jo jo Whittaker. Again, uh, I don't know Richard Ayodi, but everybody wants him. The Chewing Gum Actress 33 and the It Crowd Star 43 uh, lead the odds uh, of the coveted uh, role with Labrooks 5 to 1 and 6 to 1 respectively. They're always wrong. They're always wrong. Okay? Those things are always wrong. Forget it. There's not going to be them. Uh, Death and Paradise started with it. Uh, Michaela, who won a BAFTA for a uh, role in Chewing Gum and more recently in the HBO, uh, uh, BBC HBO drama, I May Destroy You, uh, making her a hot favourite. Uh, yeah, listen. Uh, can you think of anything that would make her a hot favourite? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think the people at the BBC are looking at uh, uh, two things, uh, and neither of them are her acting talent. They're looking at her skin colour, and they're looking at her gender, right? That's what they're looking at. Down in Paradise Star, uh, Kit Marshall is third favourite, 6-1. to one. Chris is widely rumoured to replace the third, uh, rumoured to be the 13th Doctor back in 2017. They're, and they're always wrong. They're always wrong. With Mouth expecting that he could finally summer around 2021. No, I doubt it. Uh, Flea back in Killing Eve, Master My uh, Phoebe Waller Bridge 35 has odds of 8 to 1, uh, while Killing Eve star Jodie Cor Cormer uh, 27, and uh, Star Wars actor John Boyega 10 to 1. John Boyega would be good. John Boyega's a great actor who was like so criminally underused in Star Wars. It was, it was, uh, I'll teach you a Jewish word. It was a Shonda! Ah, Disgrazia! Uh, he was great in that first uh, sequel. But yeah, I, I Attack the Block, he's fantastic. He'll be a great choice, okay? I think he will be a great choice. Uh, and again, he's got personality, which is something that Jody Whittaker does not. Rounding off the favourites, a legal gentleman style, Reese Shear Smith at 12 to 1. Zero chance. Okay, zero chance. Uh, Apex about it of Ladbrook said, it's a case of uh, Doctor Who? Question mark. Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Was that the, uh, what's the name of the guy? Kavulkin or what? I can't remember. Um, who at the, uh, at the moment, the, the fo uh, at the moment following Jody Whittaker, uh, announcement. Uh, while Michaela Cole leads the the bet, Ricciardo is close behind as a popular second favorite. Other names uh, include uh, Lionel of Juice, uh, Vicky McClark, uh, Game of Thrones actor Natalie Dormer. That's a good choice. Uh, Maxine Peake, Joe, uh, James Norton, uh, Tom Rosenthal. I don't know who, who he is. Uh, John Bishop. Okay, this is John Bishop. Being conspicuously, John Bishop has a uh, entertainment background, and he's white and male, so he's basically a uh, uh, you know a Graham replacement, a Bradley Walsh replacement. Like so obviously, it's really it's a little bit disturbing. Uh, John Bishop, the the latest famous face, is set to join the TARDIS for the beloved uh, what used to be sci-fi show, upcoming season thirteen. The comedian fifty four will take the role as Dan as he balls the TARDIS alongside the Doctor Jodie Whittaker and Yaz Manning Girl. Yeah, and again, I just don't think uh, uh, Whittaker uh, that they even. Chibnall thinks Whitaker can carry the show on, you know, on her own. Mandit Gill, oh God, is just a lump of, a plank of wood. She is such a plank of wood. Can you imagine a crossover Doctor Who with Mandip Gill, uh, a crossover with Star Trek, Mandip Gill, and with uh, uh, Michael Burnham? Yeah. Let's fly. Uh, if you haven't seen it, thank God. Uh, uh, take, uh, uh, talking about the new role, uh, the comedian said, if I could tell my younger self that one day I'll be asked to step into the Tarzan, I would never have believed it. Listen, I wish it came at a different era, mate. It's an absolute dream come true. 
uh, to be joining the TARDIS, uh, uh, joining the Doctor Who. I, uh, I couldn't wish for better uh, company than uh, Jodie and Madrid. Filming for season 13 began earlier this year in November and is set to make his first appearance in 2021. Uh, listen, with all the lockdowns and everything, I still don't know uh, uh, if season 13 is going to happen. I really hope it kind of doesn't because it's been awful. I've really hated it. Uh, so there you go. My name is Sheila Beck and you and I from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe. Ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!